In the world of television, there exist shows that hold a special place in our hearts, ones that define our youth and contribute to shaping our identities. For me, it was a medley of random shows including Friends, Biker Grove, Xena Warrior Princess and South Park. But none of them quite matched the profound impact that Buffy the Vampire Slayer had. Even now, over 25 years after its premiere, it continues to draw in new generations of devoted fans. It's the epitome of a cult classic and remains relevant in our ever-changing world. So today, I'm going to discuss what makes it so timeless. Enjoy. Buffy the Vampire Slayer featured Sarah Michelle Gellar in the role of Buffy Summers, a 16-year-old chosen to combat vampires, demons and other supernatural threats in the town of Sunnydale. To each generation, a slayer is born. One girl in all the world, a chosen one, one born with a strength, strength and skill to hunt the vampires, to stop the spread of their evil blah, blah, blah. I've heard it, okay? Alongside her friends Willow and Xander, and under the guidance of her librarian watcher Giles, Buffy had to navigate the delicate balance between her ordinary life and her responsibilities as the chosen one. The show brilliantly explored Buffy's internal struggle as she juggled the duty of saving the world with her desire for a normal life, long before the surge of superhero shows and films that tackle similar themes. What? Buffy the Vampire Slayer is a unique blend of horror, humour, drama and heartfelt storytelling. No, it's all finally making perfect sense and I'm not going to miss a moment of it. And despite the show having aired over two decades ago, it's still relevant today. Its enduring appeal comes from its unique perspective, its commitment to representing diverse voices and its exceptional writing. During its time, having a female protagonist in an action-packed series was a rarity and Buffy emerged as the formidable action heroine when such roles for women in TV and film were scarce. You're just a girl. That's what I keep saying. An integral element of the show was the portrayal of Buffy as both fiercely strong and unapologetically feminine. She took pleasure in fashion and delivered witty one-liners just as adeptly as she dispatched monsters. You might want to be suited up for this. Oh, you mean the camo and stuff? I thought about it, but to me, it's gonna look all private, Benjamin. <laughs> Don't worry, I've patrolled in this halter many times. A groundbreaking depiction even 26 years later on. In an era where many female heroes were not shown as both strong and feminine simultaneously, Buffy shattered this stereotype and proved that one could embody both qualities. Crucially, Buffy fully embraced her own power. She stood as a true hero who acknowledged her strength and used it to protect others. Despite her extraordinary abilities, the audience saw her wrestle with challenges and make mistakes, making her a relatable and genuine character. While she longed for a normal life, she not only accepted her power, but also shared it with others. This was exemplified by her empowering act of sharing that strength with all the potential slayers in the series finale. Buffy epitomised the notion that girls could be powerful, setting an inspiring example for others to follow. What if you could have that power? Now. In every generation, one slayer is born. Because a bunch of men who died thousands of years ago made up that rule. They were powerful men. This woman is more powerful than all of them combined. So I say we change the rule. I say my power should be our power. Tomorrow, Willow will use the essence of this scythe to change our destiny. From now on, every girl in the world who might be a slayer will be a slayer. Every girl who could have the power, will have the power. Can stand up, will stand up. Slayers, every one of us. Make your choice. Are you ready to be strong? One of the central themes of the show revolves around the use of monsters and demons as metaphors for real life struggles. High school, in particular, is portrayed as its own version of hell. This is vividly demonstrated in episodes like Out of Mind, Out of Sight, where an ignored classmate becomes invisible, and Earshot, where Buffy helps a student contemplating suicide. These themes persist even after the characters graduate from high school, with college careers and the complexities of adult life serving as different forms of hell. 
The show also delved into simple human conflicts. In the standout episode, The Body, which is widely regarded as one of the best in the show's history and in television overall, Buffy and her friends grapple with the aftermath of her mother's death. This episode offers a raw and unflinching look at the loss of a loved one, portraying death itself as a formidable adversary. I don't understand how this all happens, how we go through this. I mean, I knew her and then she's, there's just a body and I don't understand why she just can't get back in it and not be dead anymore. It's stupid. It's mortal and stupid. Despite the show's blend of science fiction and horror, it remains undeniably human and this quality is one of its greatest strengths. Nothing ever feels so fantastical that it can't be relatable, allowing legions of fans to connect deeply with the characters and their experiences. And this relevance continues to resonate today. The series boasted exceptional writing and featured many outstanding episodes. While it had its occasional low points, Buffy the Vampire Slayer was primarily a perfect fusion of action, drama and humour. Its episodes were fast paced and witty, often punctuated by intense emotional moments. Some of its most memorable episodes defied conventions and pushed the boundaries of what TV episodes could achieve. For instance, the musical episode, Once More We Feeling, from season 6, was a resounding success. Buffy and her friends expressed their emotions through song while under the control of a demon. The original songs are remarkable and reveal crucial plot developments, such as Willow's magic addiction, Xander and Anya's fears about their marriage and the fact that Buffy was pulled out of heaven when her friends resurrected her. There was no pain, no fear, no doubt, till they pulled me out of heaven. Other standout episodes include Hush, a mostly silent episode where Sunnydale falls prey to the eerie gentleman and becoming part two, in which Buffy confronts the evil soulless version of her boyfriend Angel. Some episodes are just plain fun, like Bang Candy, where the adults revert to irresponsible teenagers after consuming some enchanted chocolate. Mom? Giles? Oh, we're busy. Mom? Hey! In a show that could have easily fallen into a pattern of episodic monster encounters leading to a final showdown, Buffy the Vampire Slayer consistently excelled due to its high quality writing and incredible cast that elevated each episode. The major battles were epic and the emotional moments carried real weight, all anchored by well-developed characters who evolved and grew throughout the series. Viewers would find themselves laughing and crying within the same episode, empathising with the characters every step of the way. The show exemplified the potential of television, showcasing the power of exceptional writing and performances while paving the way for many shows that followed. As the seasons progressed, Buffy the Vampire Slayer delved deeper into real life issues, moving them from the subtext to the forefront of the narrative. Buffy's idealised Californian lifestyle gave way to a more socially realistic portrayal, particularly in season 5 when she was forced to abandon college to care for her sister Dawn. In season 6, Buffy took a job at a dubious fast food restaurant to keep her roof over their heads. This shift grounded the show in the challenges of growing up, making it even more relatable than before. What truly enriched Buffy's character were the friendships she formed, particularly with her self-proclaimed Scooby Gang, a diverse group representing various high school archetypes. Throughout its seven seasons, the Scooby Gang experienced roster changes, but key members like Giles, Willow and Xander remained. Characters such as Cordelia, Oz, Anya, Tara and Spike joined the mix, evolving into resilient individuals who provided support to Buffy both at home and on the battlefield. Willow in particular underwent a remarkable transformation, evolving from the nerdy best friend into a powerful witch, marking one of the series' most celebrated character arcs. As Willow's magical powers grew, so did her exploration of her own sexuality, leading to a groundbreaking moment in gay representation on television. Her journey from a heterosexual relationship with fan favourite Oz to discovering her feelings for fellow witch Tara unfolded gracefully before the audience's eyes. In a time when LGBTQ plus relationships were rarely depicted in mainstream media, Willow's relationship with Tara was a pioneering step forward. The chemistry between Hannigan and Benson brought a genuine heartfelt romance to life making their relationship a historic milestone that still resonates today. In summary, Buffy the Vampire Slayer remains an iconic show even two decades after its premiere. 
Its unique blend of supernatural elements with real-life issues coupled with its groundbreaking feminist representation has left an indelible mark on television history. The series continues to offer something for everyone, remaining not only culturally significant, but also highly enjoyable to this very day.